the one whom we adore as the mother is the divine conscious force that dominates all existence the mother is the consciousness and force of the supreme and far above all she creates all is her play with the supreme all is her manifestation of the mysteries of the eternal the miracles of the infinite many are her powers and personalities many her emanations and vibhutis that do her work in the universe the central circle represents the divine consciousness the maha shakti the maha shakti the universal mother works out whatever is transmitted by her transcendent consciousness from the supreme and enters into the worlds that she has made her presence fills and supports them with the divine spirit and the divine all sustaining force and delight without which they could not exist that which we call nature or prakriti is only her most outward executive aspect The four petals in the center represent the four powers of the mother. Four great aspects of the mother. Four of her leading powers and personalities have stood in front in her guidance of this universe and in her dealings with the terrestrial play. Maheshwari Imperial Maheshwari is the mighty and wise one who opens us to the supramental infinities and the cosmic vastness to the grandeur of the supreme light tranquil is she and wonderful the truth of things is her one concern knowledge her center of power and to build our soul and our nature into the divine truth her mission and her labor mahakali mahakali is of another nature not wideness but height not wisdom but force and strength are her peculiar power a divine violence rushing to shatter every limit and obstacle the aspiration that mounts in flame are the motion of mahakali with her is the victorious force of the divine mahalakshmi all turn with joy and longing to mahalakshmi for she throws the spell of the intoxicating sweetness of the divine and where she presses her feet those miraculous streams of an entrancing ananda harmony and beauty of the mind and soul harmony and beauty of the thoughts and feelings harmony and beauty 
in every outward act and movement harmony and beauty of the life and surroundings this is the demand of mahalakshmi maha saraswati is the mother's power of work and her spirit of perfection and order the science and craft and technique of things are maha saraswati's province this power is the strong the tireless the careful and efficient builder organizer administrator technician artisan and classifier of the world when her work is finished nothing has been forgotten no part has been misplaced or omitted or left in a faulty condition all is solid accurate complete admirable all the work of the other powers leans on her for its completeness for she assures the material foundation elaborates the stuff of detail and erects and rivets the armor of the structure the 12 petals represent the 12 attributes of the mother manifested for her work the first eight concern the attitude towards the divine and the last four are the attitude towards humanity sincerity to be sincere is to be pure let your sincerity and surrender be genuine and entire wherever there is sincerity you will find that the help the guidance the grace are always there to help you humility true humility is humility before the divine it is a precise exact living sense that one is nothing without the divine gratitude it is to have a sense of gratitude that the divine exists it is that feeling of marvelous thankfulness that the divine exists perseverance perseverance is the feeling that helps you not get discouraged not to become sad and face all difficulties with a smile aspiration aspiration is the call of the being for higher things for the divine for all that belongs to the higher or divine consciousness aspiration is the feeling of an inner soul's need and a quiet settled will to turn towards the divine and seek the divine receptivity receptivity is the power to receive the divine force 
feel its presence and allow it to work, guiding one's sight, will and action. Progress Progress is to be ready at every minute to give up all one is and all one has in order to come closer to the Divine. The first condition of inner progress is to recognize whatever is or has been wrong movement in any part of our nature. Courage Courage is the total absence of fear in any form. A noblest courage is to recognize one's fault. Goodness One must be good for the love of goodness. One must do the best one can and keep goodwill and love constantly in the heart. Generosity Generosity is to give selflessly without any expectation. It is to give for the joy of giving. Equanimity Equality means acquiring self-mastery over the vital movements, anger and sensitiveness and pride as well as desire and the rest. Peace The first sign of Divine Presence in the Being is peace. It is like immersing self into a tranquil, waveless Ananda. It is only when the soul finds liberation from the ignorance, peace is found that guides us to the calm, silence and quietude of the eternal and infinite. In absolute silence, follow your soul and not your mind, your soul that answers to the truth, not your mind that leaps at appearances. Trust the divine power and she will free the godlike elements in you and shape all into an expression of divine nature.